Really just acts of heroism yes. uh, down yeah. there in the wake of this storm. Yeah. Flooding, people yeah. flooded, trapped in their cars, had to be rescued. A lot of heroism yes. with our first responders for sure. Yeah. yeah, so let's take a look closer to home. Matt's here, yeah. he's filling us in on what we can expect this weekend. This system's just about done. It is giving us the final sprinkles. Francine is just about done. We're not going to have to talk about it anymore because high pressure is basically ripping it apart. Now we were able to get a little bit of rain mainly in southern Indiana. Here's some of the rainfall totals that we picked up. Uh, Gibson County, Oakland City, two inches, not bad. Jasper, uh, just over an inch and a half, but closer to home, we're looking at Bloomington, barely anything. In fact, the air just evaporates that. That doesn't do anything for the ground. Bedford, not bad, just under half inch and not a drop in Indianapolis. And that was the same story for probably 80 to 90% of central Indiana. And something that we're now gonna have to watch because we didn't pick up any rainfall, really, more burn bans. In fact, just in the past couple of hours, we've added three counties to the list. Jay County, Henry County, and Brown County. Things are getting dry and things are getting dry quickly. Here's the thing, even if we don't get rainfall, we've got to watch temperatures very closely. Over the next couple of days, we've got a lot of heat and that just continues to dry out the soil even more and brings drought conditions even faster. Right now, it's kind of a tale of two different Indianas. We've got a lot of sunshine to the north, Richmond, Muncie, Marion. We've had a lot of sun. We've had temperatures getting close to 90 at times. Some clouds are just sitting right over Indy, and then they get a little bit thicker to the south. We've got a couple sprinkles again around Columbus, Bloomington. Here's Brown County. We can go that got that burn ban. We got a couple sprinkles, not enough to really do anything. So for football games this evening, if you are headed south, for example, Martinsville Artesians, they're taking on uh, Decatur Central. Those folks coming in, there could be a spotty sprinkle, but that's going to be about it. No rain outs, no washouts, no thunderstorms, nothing like that. Most of us are just talking about a mix of sun and clouds. Very warm weather out there, but our, our Operation Football Game of the Week in Hamilton County. Fisher's coming to Hamilton Southeastern. It's their Mud Sox game. Huge game just on either side of 69. For the rest of this evening, we've got about a 20% chance for a shower towards the south. And then tomorrow there is technically a rain chance maybe for Bedford. Otherwise, most of us are looking pretty dry. It's going to be very quiet this weekend and very warm too. Here's a look at future track 13. We're pushing out the rain showers this evening. Very light sprinkles. After that, we're looking dry. We'll still have a mix of sun and clouds throughout the weekend. We'll start tomorrow morning in the 60s and then we'll warm up to some 80s and maybe a few of us even getting close to 90 degrees. But look at all this hot weather coming our way. Average high upper 70s. We're nowhere near that upper 80s likely for at least the next week.